the parties in Canada, for the most part, as far as I know, and Christine can speak to this better than I can, but certainly in the United States, the 2016 presidential election showed that the Republicans and Democrats are just one big party, and they all have the same perspective, and they're just two wings of the same conglomerate, and then Trump and his supporters stand outside both. Uh, if not officially, that's nonetheless the facts of how the case is. Uh, and in Europe, of course, it's a hopeless situation where all of the parties are globalist, socialist, internationalists, and it seems as if all the politicians in the West are committed to this idea that if they destroy the borders and the whole concept of the nation state, and if they encourage massive uh, Muslim immigration without vetting the migrants or even attempting to, that if they destroy all these things, then there will be peace in the world. Now, how does that follow? Because every place you see will be like every other place. And so why go to war? Every place will be as dirty, squalid, and dangerous and poor as every other place. So there won't be any need to go to war. It's really an ingenious idea, but it's going to create an incredible amount of civil strife in the West. And uh, the only thing I can say is that we have to keep, keep persisting in telling the truth and in fighting for the truth and never giving up. And I think that eventually the hegemony of these uh, political elites will be broken simply by the weight of reality, just as the Soviet Union was. And nobody expected, you know, maybe Ronald Reagan. But if, if, if you had asked 10 people on the street in 1980, will the Soviet Union fall by the end of this decade? Everybody would have said, you're crazy. And it happened. And so I th this is the only hope I can hold out here, that the weight of reality will destroy these enforced fables and fantasies. Uh, and I can fiction. tell you that I do think that Justin Trudeau is an example of the kind of politician that I described a few minutes ago, one who is a globalist, socialist, internationalist who wants to erase all ethnic and geographical distinctions between people so that we're all pretty much the same and we have no reason to fight each other and that in pursuit of that utopian fantasy, he is trying to destroy any distinctive character that could be called Canadian, just as the same leftist multiculturalists, uh, uh, including Barack Obama, were tr doing the same thing. He's still movie, Rocky III. Uh, yeah. I know, it's a silly movie, but there, it's a boxing movie, and the boxers are fighting, and actually they, they're, they're t talking to the press before they match and the challenger to Rocky said, they ask him, what's your prediction for the bout? And he says, my prediction? Pain. And that's my prediction for Sweden and France and Germany. In other words, in all seriousness, there will be civil strife, there will be civil war, there will be blood in the streets. Yeah. And this is because you have Sharia enclaves in European countries now, where Islamic law is respected and the non-Muslim law is not respected. And consequently, those Enclaves don't have any interest in ever becoming Swedish or French or Italian or German. And they will grow because the Muslim population is growing so rapidly by migration as well as by a high birth rate. And so those enclaves will grow. And eventually there will be conflict with the remaining numbers of people who want to maintain Swedish law or German law. And there will be civil war all over Europe and immense bloodshed. I wish this would not were not the case, but I don't Muslim see it working. Submitter. Out. That's what the word means. Islam means submission, and Muslim means the submitter, somebody who submits to Allah. Now, Islam being meaning submission, that's what it's really guiding philosophy is all about. It is not just submission to Allah, but the submission of the non-Muslims to the Muslims, the submission of the women to the men, and so on. It's all about submission from beginning to end. A kafir is somebody who conceals, like uh, uh, concealing with a hat your bald spot. Uh, it's also somebody who conceals the truth and is therefore an unbeliever. And that's us. And of course, is the Quran directs Muslims to wage war against and to kill the kafir. Or to subjugate them under the rule of Islamic law.